Hi again, it's Kate. This is uh, video four of a uh, reading of Gary Renard's book, The Lifetimes When Jesus and Buddha Knew Each Other. I'm reading a section at the front of the book called A Note from the Author, Gary, about A Course in Miracles. And it's a really great summary of A Course in Miracles. So I thought I would read it, uh, record it onto this YouTube uh, so you can listen. And um, I really love Gary's books. Uh, they were so helpful to me. I love Art and Purses, Pure Non-Duality Teaching of A Course in Miracles. And I made a decision to always teach the Pure Non-Dual uh, Teachings of A Course in Miracles and follow that. So this is a, another great um, a summary, such a wonderful summary that Gary has, has in this book. So I'm just reading it and just here to be truly helpful. So this will be a short video. I've only got a page and a half to read. <laughs> so uh, I think it's very appropriate that the people who published A Course in Miracles called themselves the foundation for inner peace. The human race has been trying to achieve world peace for thousands of years, just in this cycle of history. So we try diplomacy, and when that doesn't work, we try negotiation. And when that doesn't work, we try war. But people get tired of war after a few years. So we try a League of Nations, but that doesn't work. So after the next war, we try a United Nations and occasionally we seem to have peace, but it's not real peace. As the course puts it, mistake not truce for peace. Nobody ever forgets where, where the hatchet is buried. <laughs> That's because we haven't dealt with the cause. But when a critical mass occurs where enough people in the world achieve inner peace, then outer peace will literally have to happen. As Shakespeare would say, it must follow as the night, the day. You have an opportunity to make a real contribution to the healing of the unconscious mind and thus the world with your forgiveness and your achievement of inner peace. Historians may not put you in the history books, but so what? Most of the people in the history books were war makers. We are peacemakers. As the immortal Gandhi said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Perhaps Gandhi was not the first one to say that. It can be traced at least back to Buddha and probably further. But Gandhi knew it was true and he lived it. You can do the same if you are determined enough to attain your enlightenment and the peace of God. We do not have to be intimidated by the masters who have come before us. As Jesus explained in the course, there is nothing about me that you cannot attain. Both Mary, Mary Baker Eddy and the Course said, all are called but few chose to listen. Are you willing to listen? One of my favourite sentences in the Course appears in the final section of the text called Choose Once Again. It admonishes us. Choose once again if you would take your place among the saviors of the world or would remain in hell and hold your brothers there. There are many people who are afraid of the idea of going to hell and don't realize they're already there. According to the course's uncompromising metaphysics, any state apart from heaven is hell. But it's possible to eventually change your experience to a higher life form, one that has no form. 
you can graduate from the experience of being a body to the oneness of spirit. The world is full of many forgiveness opportunities if we're willing to take advantage of them. If we have trust and perseverance, we can attain the attitude of Jesus. Let me be glad that we can walk the world and find so many chances to perceive another situation where God's gift can once again be recognised as ours. And thus will all the vestiges of hell, the secret sins and hidden hates be gone and all the loveliness which they conceal appear like lawns of heaven to our sight to lift us high above the thorny roads we travelled on before the Christ appeared. We can play our part in bringing genuine peace, not only to ourselves, but to the dream we call the universe, which will ultimately disappear the same way any other dream disappears when you wake up from it. We can achieve this by practicing forgiveness and seeing with spiritual sight. That's our only responsibility, but it's an important one. It's the natural profession of all those on the ladder to enlightenment. You're, you are welcome to join in. The Holy Spirit will take care of the rest. So, Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Art and Persa. The, there is no Gary. <laughs> Everyone's just spirit. There is no world. There's just love, just God, just beautiful oneness in God. So thank you, everyone, for listening. I encourage you to do your forgiveness, do the lessons of The Course in Miracles, read the text, and start to see with your spiritual sight so that your mind is just completely healed of its belief in guilt and sin and separation and just come to know what they call enlightenment which is just in the light just in the light of this beautiful mind of love so thank you for listening in i love you and i bless you i honor you as your holy self I see only your innocence and your beauty. Thank you and amen.